Brock Lesnar, who is best known as a superstar wrestler and former mixed martial artist, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate, including a pair of homes in Minnesota and most recently Saskatchewan, Canada. In 2014, Brock Lesnar had sold his rural estate outside of Minneapolis for $750,000. Brock had originally paid $783,000 for the property back in 2003. This means that he sold his property at a notable loss, despite the fact that he tried to sell it for as much as $850,000 in earlier attempts. In 2020, he put his Alexandria, Minnesota house on the market for $850,000. The home featured 2,800 square feet and over 40 acres of property, and basically logs for days. Lesnar had most recently made the move to a farm in Maryfield, Saskatchewan. Lesnar really likes sporting his real estate in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any real addresses, and even though we've done house tours of our own, please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anybody. Brock Brock Lesnar has had quite the lucrative career, killing it in wrestling and mixed martial arts, garnering a net worth of $28 million. Although he has experienced some success in both professional football and the UFC, Brock is probably best known for his time in WWE, where he became the overall world champion eight times. Joining the WWE in 2000, Brock became the youngest champion in the title's history. In 2020, Lesnar's earnings increased his WWE earnings to $12 million after making regular appearances on WWE, which included $2.5 million in endorsement earnings. Today, Lesnar works on limited dates throughout the year, but nets just under $375,000 per main event and $75,000 for merchandising sales. In addition, throughout his career, Lesnar signed a lucrative endorsement deal with Dimatize Nutrition. During his first year joining the UFC, Lesnar fought with three opponents and earned $1 million, which included a sponsorship bonus of $200,000. He received his career's highest prize money from UFC 200, up to $2.5 million, which made him the highest paid athlete in UFC and mixed martial arts before McGregor or Habib. When all is said and done, Lesnar raked in over $4.1 million from his eight-year spell in the octagon, with almost half of that coming from his final UFC bout against Mark Hunt in July 2016. To put things in perspective, Lesnar earned over doubled his entire career earnings from MMA in just one year wrestling. So making a return to wrestling and being able to make bank from limited dates, Lesnar has plenty of time to relax in his country home estate. We'll take a deep dive at the former homes of Brock Lesnar and where he lives today. What's going on guys, it's Clyde Smith and today we're bringing you another house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now I did notice about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on the gram, and as per usual, let me know whose house tour is next down in the comment section below. All right, let's get into this video. Back in 2014, Lesnar listed his rustic 43-acre property and 11-bedroom home in Independence, Minnesota for $800,000. The 3,247-square-foot retreat boasts four bedrooms and three-and-a-half bathrooms. The estate was built in 1996 and is nestled in the woods on a large pond and comes complete with two massive barns. One is a heated pole barn and the other is a storage barn. While relatively cheap and modest in style, the home features a number of amenities, including a formal dining room decked out with custom fixtures lavish furnishings, and oversized windows. The modest home features a number of lounging areas, including a sunlit living room that comes complete with sleek furnishings, cozy fireplace, and massive flat screen television. The large eat-in kitchen, which was recently updated, features stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and an island, perfectly centered in the room. In addition, the kitchen features a butler's pantry with more room than you know what to do with. The rustic home features a master suite with dual sinks, a soaking tub that boasts views of the grounds, and an enormous steam shower perfect for relaxation. Brock's home featured a master bedroom, fit for a king, that came complete with a sitting area, sleek fireplace, and private access to the deck overlooking the grounds. Brock was a pretty busy guy playing three different professional sports, so the property also featured a pair of offices that came complete with custom bookshelves, sleek fireplaces, and oversized windows, giving the room an airy and roomy ambiance. Now, we're willing to bet that Brock negotiated a contract or two in that room. While the interior of the home was relatively modest, the outside patio deck offers plenty plenty of space to entertain and comes complete with a hot tub. In addition, the backyard features an outdoor barbecue area, fire pit, and cozy outdoor furnishings. Furthermore, the backyard features those two barns, a large pond, and a large utility building, as well as 16 acres suitable for growing whatever crops Brock desires. You'll see this be an ongoing
ongoing theme throughout this house tour. Brock had originally paid much more for the property back in 2003. This means that he sold the property at a notable loss, despite the fact that he tried to sell it for as much as $850,000 in earlier attempts. But when you're making the type of money that Brock is, I guess you can afford to take a hit. Despite being the highest paid wrestler, Brock has managed to snag some pretty modest real estate. Recently, Lesnar had listed his custom log home in Alexandria, Minnesota for $850,000. The home features 2,800 square feet and boasts four bedrooms and three bathrooms and comes complete with 40 acres of property and logs for days. In addition, the estate features a guest house, spacious tool shed, and a massive garage. I mean, seriously, look at the size of that thing. This guy could start his own farm. The interior of the home features a number of rustic features, including log cabin walls, hardwood flooring, wooden stoves, and wood burning fireplaces. While the home features a number of lounging areas, including a spacious living room that comes complete with tile flooring, oversized windows, wooden stove, and flat screen television soaring above. While the kitchen features stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a kitchen landing, perfect for those post-match meals. While the interior sports a charming look, the exterior features a number of patio and terrace spaces. In addition, the backyard features a hot tub, barbecue area, and fire pit, perfect for entertaining. The outdoors are nicely touched by gardens, farm, with built-in fence, and gorgeous rolling hills as the backdrop. Not too much is known about Brock's Canadian digs, but needless to say, Lesnar definitely shocked fans when he decided to move from the United States to Merrifield, Saskatchewan. Now, we managed to do a little bit of digging and find a few photos, and it shouldn't come as a surprise that the $2.1 million property also boasts a farm. In fact, his brother had also made the move and lives on a farm not too far away from his farm. Seeing his first two homes in Minnesota was obvious that Lesnar loves all the aspects about farm life, from the hunting, to the tractors, to the quiet evenings. Lesnar claimed I grew up on the farm. I love the country. I like the wildlife. I like everything that Saskatchewan has to offer. While it remains to be seen if this is a long time move, we all just want to say welcome to Canada, Brock. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Brock Lesnar's homes, the two in Minnesota, plus the Saskatchewan home. After seeing those homes that he snagged, what did you think? Was it everything that you'd expect out of Brock Lesnar? I mean, personally, I'm a little shocked that a man who earns so much money would rather live in a log cabin in the woods as opposed to some fancy mansion out in LA. But, uh, Hey, you gotta respect that too. Out of Lesnar's features, which were your fave, you guys can even go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in the next video.